came in the world crying and fussing. Nigga, we ain't have nothing. Every ghetto, I know the same. YouTube, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Mr. Outline. I'm back. I got that video for you. You know, that end of the year video. You know, I'm going to give y'all a couple tips on this barber thing. You know, I got my 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 best edges right here, the rose gold effects, Babeless. You know, people been asking me, how do I get them to hit so good? So, I'm going to show you. And right here next to it, I got my airbrush, master airbrush spray gun. You can get it on Amazon. No, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, neither one of these brands. But I'm just telling you where I got it from. The other ones, obviously, I got them from Beauty Supply or Babeless, wherever you want to go get it from, right? So, anyway, let's jump into it. Now, these are a good trimmer for me because I like the way they feel in my hand, the power of them. And I like the blade. The blade is a deep tooth blade, so it catches a lot of hair, right? So the first thing you want to do is you want to unscrew it, take the top off. And actually, the top is detachable, but I didn't do it, so I meant to take it off. That's what I'm pointing to right here. I wanted to just detach it, but I ain't have time to go back and put it back on and show you how it detached. I meant to show it at the end, but... I didn't do it either, but I'm going to jump right into it and show you exactly what to do. So, you see the little spring right there? The spring is like a tension against the clipper and the blade, right? So, that actually fits inside the grooves of this white piece right here. I don't know if you see the two little holes right there, but you got that part. You got the blade, the top blade, right? So on the underneath blade they go together the black thing that was in the middle holds the blade in place so it doesn't move out of place it keeps it in one place it won't shift it won't move right and then also you got the two screws right here so it comes with the little tool right there that they give you inside the box it's a specially size tool shape tool you can use with babeless right something like a, a allen wrench or something but a little different so they also give you a blade setter right which i don't use but obviously you stick the blade in the uh, top blade put the bottom blade in push it up to your desired area where you want to zero gap it at and you know hold it in place and screw it down whenever you think it's in the right place but i don't use those things i just like to do it by sight feel look you know that's how i do mine but if if you feel comfortable using the blade setter by all means use that so you see the two screws here the two screws right here you want to unscrew those because that gives you a little range of motion where you can move the adjustment up and down right yeah, i'm talking about slightly it's a slight movement it's nothing major you know what i mean so but it, it it does work so you do need to do that so and right here i unscrewed it just make sure it's real loose to where i want it right and then once you get it to that part you come back put the screw on you see it i don't know if you can see in this picture right here but i'm pushing it up to where it goes to the edge, but it's not overbiting or anything like that. It is a little bit. So you can see right there, I pushed it up so you can see when you apply enough pressure to it, you can push it over the edge, which is too far. You don't want your clippers to look like that, right? And then those, that right there is like set almost perfect, right? And then this right here, I moved it back. You can see the little gap right there right so that's that so right here we just put a little pressure on the back end of it you see the white hump right there you want to put a little pressure on the back end of it you see you got it where you want it screw it down keep that same pressure while you screw it down and you're almost done once you get to that point right you see it? 
look good, right? Now, the key to this thing is the spring. This spring right here actually comes bent more of an angle. But what you have to do with this is you have to flatten it out because once you flatten it out, it lays into the grooves of the white piece on the back of the blade more better and it keeps it in that place so it doesn't slip, right? So I'm about to show you right now. You see this? It has two holes in it. I don't know if you can really see it that good. It has two holes in it. Fits inside the groove, right? See that? Fits right inside of that. So, boom, there you go. You see it? It's right next to the two screws that we unscrewed. It's on the outside of them. So that spring fits directly in. So if you want to use something to flatten it out, let's say I got this Allen wrench, then you're going to need something more heavier or durable than this right here. You just want to flatten it out. You don't want to have it totally flat, but you want to be able to take the the crease that's in it out. You know, it has a little, a little hump in it. You want to take that hump down a little bit, right? So once you put that back in, you put that spring part back inside the clipper first, right? And then you take the clipper and you lay it down on top of the spring. You try to line it up as best as possible before you start tightening it. But you get the, you get the blade, put it on top of the spring, and then you're ready, right? Get the screws. Screws back in, do it one at a time. Get your screwdriver, screw it down a little bit. You don't want to screw it down all the way because that spring that we was just talking about is going to be out of place. So you want to have it in, you want to have the screws in firm, but you don't want to screw it all the way down because the spring is going to have to be put into place. Okay, so you, you see this little yellow screwdriver that came with it? You see the spring? You see how it's out? It's outside of the white piece. So you want to be able to pop that right into place. And if you see, you use that little piece and bam, you just pop it right back in place. You see that? You got to mess with it a little bit. But once you get it in, it's good. So just take a little patience, a little time, and you get it in there. Then I got it in, right? Same thing to the other side. You want to get it in. Get it in there make it pop. So, bam, now it's in there. So, now, you want to screw it down after you get it in all the way. You see that it's done? Now you can screw the rest down. Once you screw it down, then you can listen for the sound, right? Yeah. You can hear the sound, the sound of it is really good. You can listen for that sound. So the little things cut good. You do the arm test, see if it's too sharp anywhere. I just so happen to have them set perfectly. No cuts, not a lot of pressure needed. Just cleaning the hair right off, you see that? Things look really good. You can hear the power. That's what I really like about them. Between those and the Slimline Pro, the Slimline Pro LI are pretty good clippers. Um, they're just a little too light for me, but I like these because they're heavier and they're a little stronger. And you know, I got the Babyliss spray. You want to spray spray your clipper down after you set the blade right, have everything adjusted, and you want to do it while the clipper is on. Clean it up real good. See that? And now you go back and listen for the power again. Now they're ready to go. Nice. Now we're going to move on to the Master Airbrush. Okay, so yeah, this is the Master Airbrush. I ordered it off Amazon. You just type that in and you'll find it. This is the whole compressor system right here. And it has a little gauge. Comes with 
a spray nozzle already everything is included you can see I bought a different one it's Gobert or something like that but I traded out mine because the one that it came with it seemed like it was getting clogged and it didn't spray exactly how I wanted it to spray it's very usable but uh, after a while you probably want to upgrade and get something else I think this one cost me $40 so I think it was definitely worth it if you look at it um, it's a little sleeker it's a little better for me and this thing right here comes with the master airbrush it's for you to empty out your remain your leftover color into there you can clean it out you put some cleaner inside of it I, I didn't show the cleaner on the video I meant to show it but it comes with a cleaner and it comes with that so this is the go 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 cheap go cheer or something like that this is the one that I ordered extra outside of what already came with it. Now, inside is the old one that came with the Master Airbrush. So, I'm going to show you the difference between the two. If you see that one, it's a little different. It looks almost identical, but they have subtle differences, right? So, if you look at it, the one that I ordered is a little longer. If you look at the front nozzles, right? The front of the nozzle, the one that I ordered, is kind of like a crown. If you see it, it's like the top of a crown. So, you see it, it's, it allows it to spray out right. And that one is just round. The one that came with it's a little cheaper model, but it's, it's definitely, you could work with it. But like I said, you want to upgrade. But I'm happy with the upgrade. So, I'm telling you from using both of them, the second one, the go chair, it sprays out evenly disperses better so I chose that one I would I would buy it again now this is my container right here my little bottle now you want to mix your color inside the container and you can already have it made up you don't have to do it every time and you pour it inside of that top and put the top back on you unscrew it screw it back on make sure it's on tight I shake mine up so it won't get clogged up and then, you know, you got your spray tips. You can spray it. You see how it sprays? It sprays evenly. You can see that really good. It sprays really well. So, that's what I was impressed with, right? It sprays really good. Now, another thing, right, when you're getting ready to spray, it's a certain way to spray this. You just want to hear the sound. Listen to the sound that it's supposed to make. You just spray it. That's the sound when you spray it. You don't want to continuously hold it and just spray it like it's not good to do it that way. You can, but this is an enhancement. It's not to make a whole nother color, whole color for the head or anything like that. I really like the compressor. I was against it at first. I didn't think it would be a good idea, but now that I use it, that's all I use. I used to use Topic all the time, and I don't really use Topic anymore. I still got it on my station i don't remember the last time i used it so it lasts longer topic if you rub your head it comes right out with this it dries up it stays in your head it's a semi-permanent so it's not a permanent color so next i'm going to show you how to mix it right so what i use is kiss express i don't know if you can see it kiss expressions and that is the black right i think it's 90 black or something like that but it's just going to be black they have jet black they have black they have blue black brown black whatever you think your clientele is is for the hair color buy that color mix it right you're going to mix it with 70 percent alcohol right so you want to do a 60 40 split right you want to do 40 percent color 60 percent alcohol for me, that's how I do it. Some people do the opposite. I like mine a little thinner, not too thick. I don't like it to get clogged up, like I said. So I do like 60, 60, 40, 60 alcohol, 40 color. You mix it, shake it up, and you got a, you got it right there for whenever you need it. So me, you know, I charge extra for enhancements, so you can definitely get your money up using enhancements, right? So those two combined together will give you a good nice edge up and I'm going to show you the edge up coming up so 
watch how I use this on my technique and I'm going to show you a close up of what I do. So right here I already did the edge up. This is before the enhancement. So you want to do the edge up before you use the enhancement. You want the edge up to be as natural as possible. And like I said, this is the the spray gun that I use. I was just talking about it. So I'm going to show you how to properly use this product. So you want to put the color inside again. And you want to close the top. You want to shake it up. Get ready. It's ready to go after that, right? Now, right here. You want to use a card to put against the head to spray the color. You want to use that to protect the skin from the color. So what I like to do, I spray it against the card onto the head, if that makes sense. So it's actually like it's bouncing off of the card onto the hair. So that's how I do it. So you see that? Boom, boom, boom. So look at that. You see that? That's how I got it, right? You see how it look already? And then I do the same thing to the side. Spray it a little bit. Sometimes you have to come back over. It just depends if you didn't do it right the first time like I didn't. But also, you see the color. You see the difference it makes already. Do the same thing from the side. Boom. Right? Looks good, right? See that? It made a big difference in this hair already. And then I use the freeze holding spray. Got them down perfect. See that? Edge up. Bang. This is the crispy part. Now, if you want it to be crispy, dry it off. Make sure the color dry. Make sure the holding spray is dry. You can use your you can use your blow dry. And then you just come back and you, you tap it, right? Tap, 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 tap. And then it get real crispy after that. Watch, watch what it do. Watch what it do. Look at that. Oh, that thing look good, man. That's how you do it right there. Hey, that's that comeback right there. You get them to come back when you do that right there. That's that comeback. Hey, but look here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. I forgot to say that in the beginning, but you know how we do it. Make sure you tell somebody about the video. Share the video. Want to get crispy. Follow the steps in the video. That's all you got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Leave me some comments in the comment section. I got you. Me, me I got you. I'm about to do the end of the year review on some of the celebrities that I cut. I think I did uh, Chris Sales. I did Jordan Lacey. I did CJ So Smooth. You know, I did Funny Micah, but I didn't record the haircut. So, you know, I got a couple people I'm going to do. I'm going to just show some of the haircuts clip by clip. You see that? Fade nice. Edge up nice. Be ready. Get your bread on. But anyway, that's my tutorial for the day. So don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. We out.